everyone so quick video concerning teleportation and yes there is a third person controller now in rpg builder i know that's the first time you see it on this channel but i it is not fully ready yet for me to make a video on it most likely tomorrow so definitely um stay tuned for that anyway so teleportation in rpg builder it is coming in three different ways and the way it's handled right now is if you go to effects and you see here we have an effect and we have a type teleport and this lets you choose between game scene position and target and i'm going to show you each of those um, teleport types right now so the first one i'm going to show is the target type as you see right now i have a target selected is of course not going to work if i do not have one selected so if you select an enemy or an ally or whatever you want this ability to be possible to use on um, you can then uh, teleport your target. In this case, you see that um, I chose to have it like a very short cast time, but it could also be fully instant. If I go here now and go to the teleport to target ability and um, reset the cast time, it's now going to be instant. So that's it. Uh, this was for the teleportation to target. You can, of course, choose a minimum and maximum distance at which you can use this ability and so on but yeah can be useful for combat can be useful for many different things the second one is teleport to a specific um position or coordinate in this current map so if i use this uh this is actually using interactive nodes so these portals are interactive nodes which have a uh, let me show you actually. so if we go here click on this you see that these have a just a collider and interactive node component on it and the interactive node is of type combat and effect so effect means it's going to trigger you know a specific effect when um used and uh so in this case it's just triggering a specific effect which is you know the teleport and this teleport is set up to be i'm going to show it to you um is this one this one is said to be position so it's a specific position in the map and then you can just assign whatever position you want it to be so in this case it is said to be this dummy target here and when you use it it's teleporting you in this map to this specific coordinate you know quite uh, straightforward and the third one is a game scene so it is this one so it's a game scene it is taking of course a game scene as a um, parameter and a location in this scene that you should be teleported on if you don't know what a game scene is um it's basically your uh, maps or worlds in your game and if you want to talk about like unity terms it is basically a scene so a unity scene and if i use this one now it's going to teleport us to the um, define game scene and the location we ask it to be so pretty cool um very very useful obviously as you can imagine this can be used for abilities this can be used for interactive nodes portals dungeon entrance uh, it could be used for i mean it's pretty huge list honestly of things that can use teleports um, maybe also even items so for example if you wanted some um items consumable or maybe a stone or whatever that is you know teleporting you back to a village to a tavern whatever this could be uh, used so thank you for watching see you in the next one